Okay, uh, the curse of the compassionate stranger video blog, day one. Uh, it's all getting a bit real now. I spoke to the producers today. They seem like an odd bunch. Uh, they seem to like the script though, which is good. They've got a few things they want to change. Uh, there's going to be a script meeting next week, so uh, we'll just wait and see. Yeah. Sixty-five pounds and court charges. Where do they expect me to find that? <laughs> We're in a recession, Duncan. Okay, gotta go. Yeah, Facebook me. James McAllister. Mackenzie. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Take a seat. <clears throat> James. Jim Bob. Jimbo. Love the script. Read all of it. Thank you. Mm, no, I mean it. This play's got potential to put A's back on the map. HIV. Yeah. You, you said AIDS, it's about HIV, that's kind of the point. What's the difference? HIV is the virus that can lead to AIDS. Attention to detail, I like that. Listen, let's cut to the monkey's gusset. So we need to make a few changes. Mm, okay. Yeah. Starting with the title. What's wrong with the title? Well, it's a bit vague, you know? Uh, we need something to draw people in. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the curse of a compassionate stranger sounds a bit like a sermon, James. Mm. Need to... It's a bit preachy. Right, video blog two, day 15. We now have a new title for our play. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm happy with it. Miles thinks we need something snappier. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we give you bad blood. You get it? That's the play about HIV. And we've called it bad blood. Listen, James, we need to take a look at the comic relief marketing it's model. third time you've mentioned comic relief. Lenny's a good friend of mine. It's irrelevant. All I'm saying is they know how to deal with sensitive subject matter. Right. They do a little bit of Africa, loads of entertainment. Mm. Tiny little bit of Africa, loads more entertainment. Makes them millions of pounds. They're a charity. And th this isn't about money, Miles. It's about raising awareness. <sighs> Come on, let it go, huh? No one's going to sit through another self-righteous play about poor old AIDS-ridden Africa. I had enough of that in the 80s. That's exactly the kind of attitude that I want to challenge. People have absolutely no idea about what's going on in Africa. Because they don't care, James. <laughs> hmm? The bottom line is, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, normal people do not care about Africans. And they don't go to the theatre for a lecture. They've got to be entertained, so give them what they want. I just want to make AIDS entertaining. Is that too much to ask? And that's the level of professionalism we're dealing with. Well, this is a new love. I'm just trying to think if there's anyone else that's done it. Of course nobody's done it. It's immoral. I suppose there might be a few legal issues. Is HIV a trademark? You can't turn the plight of millions of people into a fucking musical. James, babes, this is what happens in theatre. Scripts change. It's called evolution. Yeah, but this has gone from a play about a humanitarian aid worker in the Sudan to something that I don't even recognise. What is it about you and Africa? You're always going on about it. It's set in Africa. That might need to change. OK, how about this? We take the story out of sub-Saharan Africa and into the seedy streets of Soho. Ridiculous. It writes itself. Ben's not an aid worker. He's an actor by day, rent boy by night. You're a maniac. I'm a maverick. You're always harping on about raising awareness. Hmm? Let's appeal to as many people as possible. Everybody loves the gays. No offence. Hang on, I'm not gay. So what's your problem? Miles, 
More than 33 million people worldwide are living with HIV. James, Mamma Mia grossed nearly 20 million in its opening weekend. How many times? It's not about the money. Yes, it is. It's all about the money. Now, you can either do the rewrites, like we've asked, earn yourself a nice little writer's fee, see your name in the listings of a successful West End production, or we can get someone else to do it. It's up to you, James. What do I do? <clears throat> if I agree, then I'm selling out. If I don't, then it's... Back to pouring cocktails for wangers. Uh, it's not as if I'm completely selling it. I mean, it's still about HIV, I and mean, that's the important thing. Isn't it? We will rock you. Mamma Mia. Dirty Dancing. Joseph and his amazing technical are dream boats. What have they all got in common? I know, leggings. Merchandise. How many of those have you printed? 300,000. Brilliant. What else have you done? Novelty hands. What are they? You use them in gladiators, you know, surprisingly good fun, gets people involved. They're a fucking genius. Well, I take comfort in the fact that we can't sink any lower. Think again. Uh, this is my own personal favourite. Hmm? The official HIV, the musical, novelty condoms. Come in three different flavours. What do you think, huh? Two birds with one stone, James. Two birds with one stone. There is a small chance that I might have got things very, very wrong. A Soho bar at 1am, I start to get the horn again. And there you are, near but far, you lead me out towards your car. An alleyway, cheap aftershave, I think we're gonna misbehave. Too late now to run away, you say some words to make me stay. Your erection, no protection, my heart exposed to this infection. But what to do when you're in love, forever cursed my angry blood. Your erection, no protection, your erection, no protection, your erection, no protection. My heart exposed to this infection. What was that? James, that is a man, and that man is the beautiful sound of HIV. That was amazing, Duncan, thank you. You said this was going to be tasteful? No, I said tasty. He looks like an extra from the village people. You got the reference, good, we were worried about that. Can we go again, but with his top off? No, 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 no. This is bad, this is very, very bad. Barry, what was that last song called? Terminal Diagnosis. Terminal Diagnosis. Harrowing. I mean, it's my fault, it's my fault for letting it get this far. Right, where do you want me? <gasps> Who are you? This is Jolien. Hello, Jolien. Why are you wearing a pink tutu? He's going to be playing the part of the AIDS virus. He can't personify the AIDS virus. Every pantomime needs a villain, James. OK, that's it. I'm done here. I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of your ridiculous suggestions. I'm taking my script and I'm leaving. It's not your script. You can't take it. We own the script. No, no. You own the mess that you've made of it, Miles. I'm done. We'll do it without you. Hope it bombs. Think about the Africans, James. Hmm? Think about the Africans. <laughs> You OK? Yeah, I'm just falling out the sides a bit. What is this stuff? Taffeta, is it? Taffeta. Yeah. Nice. Shall I...? Yeah, let's go. OK, donkey.
down You said you've got some things to do anyway Well, I'll leave anyway You'll waste another day 